Hi, my name is Chris Holton Jablonski, and it is my great joy and deep honor to serve you as your minister. This is a prayer by my colleague, Mr. Barb Grieve. Blessed are the trailblazers who brought us this far and are still trailblazing, still celebrating. Blessed are the drag queens and kings who remind us not to take life too seriously. Blessed are the gender benders, non-binary, gender fluid, and third gender folks who challenge us to reframe our gender paradigm. Blessed are the young ones who fearlessly present from the start. Blessed are their parents making space for their freedom and loving their children fiercely. Blessed are the siblings and relatives who educate, support, and love us as we are. Blessed are the genderqueer youth who are still struggling and persist. Blessed are the 90-year-olds just coming out and those who have been out for decades. Blessed are those whose lives were cut too short. May their stories live on through us. Blessed are the survivors. May they keep on living. Blessed are the allies learning to be accomplices. Blessed are those gathered here today, witnessing, learning, celebrating. May we all commit to continue showing up, fighting for justice, celebrating all the genders in life. As some of you know, this coming Friday, November 20th, is the Transgender Day of Remembrance. It is the day in which we honor all those who have died between October 1st, 2019 and September 30th, 2020. For those that same period, 47 lives were taken in the United States that we know of, and 386 worldwide. This includes death by violence, by self-harm, those who died in ways yet to be determined, and sadly, this year, from COVID-19. We say their names and we honor their lives. We pray that we may build a world in which the worth and dignity of all people is honored, in which each and every person is seen as beautiful and good, worthy of love and respect. Here are their names. The 28th of September, 2020, Mia Green, 29, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The 19th of September, 2020, Aaron Burnett, 37, Independence, Missouri. 15th of September, 2020, Gia Valentina Romulado Rodriguez, 46, Miami, Florida. 7th of September, 2020, Isabella Mia Lofton, 21, Brooklyn, New York. 31st of August, 2020, Ellie Che, 23, the Bronx, New York the 26th of August, 2020. Shelley Lynn Rose, age 16. 13th of August, Key Sam, 24, Lafayette, Louisiana. 28th of July, Aya Raquel Rome Spears, or Rocky Rome, age 32, Portland, Oregon. 27th of July, Keasha Hardy, age 24, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. 26th of July, Tiffany Harris, Dior H. Ova, 32, The Bronx, New York. 13th of July, Marilyn Monroe Cesares, 22, Brawley, California. 6th of July, 
Angela Martinez Gomez, age 42, Santa Monica, California. 4th of July, Summer Taylor, age 24, Seattle, Washington. The 3rd of July, Bree Black, age 27, Pompano Beach, Florida. 1st of July, Shockey Peters, 32, Amite City, Louisiana. The 30th of June, Drea McCarty, age 28, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The 30th of June, Mercy Mack, age 22, Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas. 30th of June, Tatiana Hall, age 22, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The 25th of June, Brayla Stone, age 17, Sherwood, Arkansas. The 13th of June, Brian Powers, Akron, Ohio. The 9th of June, Dominique Remy Fells, 27, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The 9th of June, Raya Milton, age 25, Liberty Township, Cincinnati, Ohio. The 6th of June, name unknown, age 16 to 20, Chicago, Illinois. 31st of May, Selena Reyes Hernandez, age 37, Marquette Park, Chicago, Illinois. 27th of May, Tony McDade, age 38, Tallahassee, Florida. The 9th of May, Jane Thompson, age 33, Orchard Mesa, Colorado. The 6th of May, Helly J. O'Regan, age 20, San Antonio, Texas. The 3rd of May, Nina Pop, age 28, Sikiston, Missouri. The 11th of April, Joanna Metzger, Baltimore, Maryland. The 3rd of April, Henrietta Robinson, age 79, Miami, Florida. The 1st of April, Ashley Moore, age 26, Newark, New Jersey. The 30th of March, Lorena Borjas, age 59, Queens, New York. The 28th of March, Lexi Ebony Sutton, age 33, Harlem, New York. The 18th of March, Monica Diamond, age 34, Charlotte, North Carolina. The 12th of March, John Scott DeVore, Scotland Kelly DeVore, age 51, Augusta, Georgia. 21st of February, Camilla Maria Concepcion, age 28, Los Angeles, California. The 4th of January, Alex McRae, age 22, St. Louis, Missouri. The 1st of January, Dustin Parker, age 25, McAllister, Oklahoma. 29th of December, Mia Penny, age 26, Washington, D.C. The 19th of December, Yahira Nesby, age 33, Brooklyn, New York. The 18th of December, Alice Carter, or Baby Alice, age 35, Washington, D.C. The 10th of December, Angel Rose Garcia, age 21, Hyattsville, Maryland. The 7th of December, Nikki Kuhnhausen, age 17, Larch Mountain, Oregon. 14th of October, 
Brianna, B.B. Hill, age 30, Kansas City, Missouri. The 11th of October, Daphne Dorman, age 44, San Francisco, California. 10th of October, Christine Zephyr, age 23, Mankato, Minnesota. On the 6th of October, Corbin Ray Bach, age 23, Paducah, Kentucky. This is a quote from P Flag. As human beings, it is imperative that we boldly, loudly, and publicly honor all those we have lost to anti-trans violence and hate and speak out against violence anywhere we see it. Simultaneously, as we honor those we have lost, we must use this as an opportunity to strongly recommit to trans inclusion at all levels of our work, providing support to people who are trans and gender expansive and to their families and friends providing education to those who still lack the understanding necessary to be good allies, and advocating for protections at all levels of government, local, state, and federal. Here at First Church, I am so happy that our Social Action Committee has committed to have the civil rights and thriving of lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and non-binary and queer folks as one of its three areas of focus for this year and beyond. Since 2001, First Church has been a welcoming congregation. This means that many of you years ago went through a process and classes and workshops and discerned together that First Church was committed to being a place that welcomed and celebrated LGBTQ plus folks in our community. We are now in the midst of a welcoming congregation renewal program, and this is a little different. It's not a linear process which ends up with an up and down vote. We have already voted. We already had a process, and as a community, we've committed to being a welcoming, and this renewal practice asks us to deepen that commitment. I'm so grateful for Fran Juan, for her tireless work in this area, she is a gift to our community and the wider world. You'll be hearing more about this renewal process soon. But for now, feel free to listen to those names again, or even better, speak those names yourself. It's important that we say their names. I'll also include a list of their names in the description below of the video. On this day, we give thanks for each and every one of these people we have lost. And in their honor, we commit ourselves all over again to building the beloved community. We commit ourselves all over again to building this world we dream of, this world which honors the beauty and singularity and goodness in each and every person. This world which welcomes the gifts and creativity and vision of each and every person, which sees the potential within and nurtures and nourishes all of us into flowering. We commit ourselves all over again to this good work to this holy work before us. So much love to you all. Amen.